Are you thinking about moving to Fort Lee, Virginia? Or should I say, do you have to move to Fort Lee, Virginia? Well, in this video, I'm gonna answer three questions that people always ask me before making that move. Let's go. If this is your first time to this channel, please subscribe now, hit the bell button so I can alert you with more videos like this. The first question that I always get is this, Chris, where are the best schools that's near Fort Lee, Virginia? Well, as a licensed realtor, I can't tell you what I think or what's my opinion about the best schools. So the best thing to do is do your own due diligence. Go to the internet and figure it out. Uh, one good website you can go to is greatschools.org. Another one is niche.com. The cool thing about niche.com is you can find the different ratings of the school. They rate their schools like an A plus, an A minus, B plus, B minus, and so forth. The good thing about Prince George, Fort Lee area, most of those schools that's in that area are B plus schools like Prince George High School. LL Beasley is an elementary school that niche.com rates as an A minus. Now you have to remember, most of your A plus, A minus high schools are in your Melothenia, Virginia area. Now, when it comes to Melothenia, Virginia, you have like your high school Cosby, Melothenian, and also Clover Hill. These are a couple of examples of A plus schools. Now, let me remind you once again, it's a good 40 to 45 minutes away from Fort Lee. Now, some of your B plus schools, your B ranking schools are in Chesterfield as well. You have like Thomas Dale, you have Matorka, you have LC Bird. There's a couple, just a few of the schools that gives you that B rating. That's a good 20 minutes away from Fort Lee, Virginia. Now you do have some A plus schools. That's a governor's school that's in Richmond called Maggie Walker. So this kind of gives you a general idea of what's in the area. Most of the schools that's close to Fort Lee are roughly a B rating school. So that kind of gives you a good idea. But please, please do your own due diligence and figure out what best schools fits you and your family. The second question I always get is this, Chris, where should we live? What's the best neighborhoods? Or I want some land, I want a rancher, I want two stories. Um, I don't want a HOA, I hate HOAs. I do want a HOA, I want a brick house. So it really depends on what you're looking for. The good thing about Fort Lee, the different areas that we have in this area, it's, it's a lot of choices that you can choose from. But first and foremost, we have to get pre-approved or pre-qualified to figure out what's the, the price point that you're looking at. The good thing about this area, the price points are great because you can be in a 250 to 350, 400 to five, five to six, six and above, and it's different areas. It's only 20 minutes away from Fort Lee. So I would say that's the first thing you wanna do. Get pre-qualified or pre-approved and figure out the price points. Once we have figured out the price point, then we can go and venture out and shop. The good thing about Fort Lee area, it caters to a lot of that. You can say, hey, I wanna be in the suburban area. I might wanna be in a city. You have Colonial Heights, you have Petersburg, you have Hopewell. Or you might say, hey, I want suburban area. It really depends, uh, but you have a lot of great choices. Number three, I always get this. Chris, what is it to do near Fort Lee, Virginia? Now, according to niche.com, they have like Prince George area as a C minus when it comes to nightlife. So some things when it comes to nightlife, you got to venture out. But there's plenty of things to do around um, Fort Lee, Virginia. To give you an example, you have a city that's right there outside of Prince George, Hopewell. Hopewell has the Beacon Theater. They have a nice restaurant called um, Boathouse that views the water, which is very nice. Downtown, Hopewell, different things to do down there and different eateries. You have a place called Petersburg, which is a neighboring um, town as well. They have uh, Old Town, Petersburg, which have a lot of shops, antique places. They have art festivals, plenty of places to eat, bands on the weekend. Then you have Colonial Heights. Colonial Heights, you have your mall and a lot of different eateries and different things to do around there as well. And of course, we can always go to uh, city capital, Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia shares a lot of things you can do. So if you're thinking about moving to Fort Lee, Virginia, or if you have to move to Fort Lee, Virginia, I don't care if you're thinking about next month, next week, next year, whenever it is, please, please reach out to me. My team and I would love to help you to make a smooth move to Fort Lee, Virginia.